Hey there guys, it's Chris here at Retro Run Stop. We are going to be running with this game today. Uh, for all you Liverpool fans or football fans, um, this was a really, really late addition uh, to the Commodore 64. Uh, so we are going to be looking at this game that came out in 1993, about three years after the Amiga released their version of it. Uh, so we're going to be looking how the Commodore 64 interprets the faces of Steve McManaman, John Barnes, Dean Saunders, Stevie Nichol, uh, to name just a few. R Bruce Groblar's in there as well. So let's uh, let's take a quick look at the game. We'll go in. Now we can, if we go to the team select, you can see the players here. Now, these these are pretty good. <laughs> I mean, you may be looking at this. If you're a modern day computing guy, you're going to be thinking, who the heck are these? But if we look around here, I mean, this guy here, if we click here, Barry Venison, I mean, that is Barry Venison, isn't it? I mean, you've got his long blonde hair. Uh, that is Barry Ven Venison. If we look through, we've got Ian Rush. Uh, who do we have here? John Barnes. I'm just selecting a few. Mark Wright, obviously played for England. Uh... Is that Steve Nichol? Steve Nichol, yeah, there we go. Bottom right, the wobbly leg man himself, Bruce Grobler. So you can see the digitised graphics for the players. I think Jan Mulby, he played for my team. Yeah, Jan Mulby, bottom left, he came on loan to my team. I'm not going to say who I support. Put it in the comments if you like. Jan Mulby came on loan to my team. My team floats between the Premier League and the Championship. And uh, Liverpool always spank us. Luis Suarez always causes problems. Put the comments in below. Anyway, right, well, back to the game. Well, let's just, uh, do, 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 what should we do? Let's go as if we're playing a full season. I'm not going to play a full season with you guys. But, uh, right, so obviously you play as Liverpool. We're playing QPR, uh, Division 1 match. This is, well, I was going to say this is well before the Premier League, but actually 93 wouldn't have been, would it? Uh, but, um, anyway, now, here we go. I am... Oh my god, QPR. Oh my god, this is where I should have practiced. This is QPR going through on goal, and I'm 1 0 down. Okay, right, so let's uh, try again. I've just, that's a blatant foul. Right, I've just belted that out for a corner. Uh, let's have a look. Right. Oh my god, I'm having a, I'm having a nightmare. 2-0 down. So if you are a really strong Liverpool fan and you can't wear to bear to watch this, uh, just, uh, yeah, don't like the video, don't leave a comment, just go away and uh, watch some glorious uh, <laughs> YouTube clips of your fantastic last few seasons. Because at the moment you're being spanked by QPR. 2-0. And I can't seem to get hold of the ball. Groblar has made a save. We're happy with that. Right, I think I'm going to... Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I can't actually get hold of the ball there. It's like I haven't plugged the joystick in, but I really have. Uh, so uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Hold on. Here I am. Here I'm through and got. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Now, you may be looking at this game and thinking, hold on, you know, it's a bit messy, but. Oh, I mean, the referee's non existent. I've been fouled twice now. Um, uh, maybe there is no referee, because I just produced a horrific foul. This, uh, I mean, one of my favourite games on the Commodore 64 is Micropro Soccer. Um, big fan of that. Uh, bigger graphics on that. This is sort of touching the sensible soccer era, isn't it? Jeez. Uh, I cannot get hold of the ball. Now, you may argue that difficulty level is quite high on this, but bear in mind I haven't played this for so long. Maybe QPR were awesome in 93. I mean, were they? Maybe. Have I just... I'm struggling... To, I must admit, I am struggling to tell the difference between who I am. That's a foul. I didn't do that, did I? No, I didn't. Good. Right, okay. I've got the ball. I've got the ball. I'm, I'm playing some good football. Oh, I briefly saw their penalty area. 
There's a lot, I mean, it's hard to tackle in it. What to tackle that was? Oh my, 4 0 down, 4 0 down, first half. This is exactly what my team would do against Liverpool. Right. Hold on, hold on, I'm through. I, hold on, I'm through, I'm through. No, I've lost the ball. And I've booted it out there for some reason. I am getting better. Sir, and I've just been allocated. Uh, look, this is a rapid game. For the Commodore 64, the playing you can see the playing area is quite small in comparison to the size of the mono. Um, yes, yeah, so half time for another land. The playing area is quite small, um, as you can see. This was reviewed back in oh, when was it reviewed? October '93. Uh, for Commodore Force, they gave it a hurricane hit of 93%. Now, I said this was brought out in 1993. Amstrad had this game out in 1990. Uh, and Amiga and the ST were 92. So this this was... I mean, obviously I know people still, still release Commodore 64 games now. I get that. But, I mean, as in the mainstream releases of games this was one of the last ones i mean it was out on cassette for 11 pound disc for 15 pound via grand slam um like i said commodore force gave it 93 percent gave it a hurricane hit um it's a good game i'm probably not doing it justice because i can't do anything uh i'm five nil down to qpr qpr i mean yeah qpr have been good over the years but I'm, if you're a QPR fan, you're probably loving it. Oh, God, you know, I almost, almost was through there. The sound is sparse on this. You might be able to pick up... There's no crowd noises. You can probably just hear me waffling and... Oh, I've conceded a penalty. And a yellow card. Is that... Right, can I say... This? Come on, Brucey Groblar, shake your legs, son. And shaking legs of Bruce Groblar and allegedly the money has uh, made that ball be missed. Okay. I am struggling to get hold of this ball. I've got no defence. Come on. No. Bruce, Bruce Grobler, come on, my son. We love this. Hold on. <laughs> I just moved to the side. This does remind me of Sensible Soccer. Do you know when you run in Sensible Soccer, say on the Amiga, Mega Drive, whatever you play, Sensible Soccer on PC, whatever. Sometimes you do a little wiggle and you can lose control of the ball, can't you? Now... This is exactly what happens in this game. You can put some little after after curl on this uh, when you play a shot or a pass. Uh, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I was going to have a shot. I was all excited. I was going to have a shot. 5-0 down. One and a half minutes to go. I mean, they think it's all over, don't they? God's sake, it is now. So I'm 6 0 down. But yeah, look, it's. For, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I prefer Micro Pro Soccer. That's uh, probably because I can actually play that bloody game. But uh, this game is good. It's fast. It's pacey. The sound is a bit sparse. Uh, it, as with a lot of games of this genre, it's a lot better in two player mode. Uh, probably because I haven't got a friend in the world that would beat me 6 0 on this. Um, so. Yeah, it's a good game. Worthy of its 93%? <laughs> Possibly not. But uh, if I can score a goal, I'll give it a blooming 100%. Yikes, come on. Uh, is that another penalty I've conceded? It is. Bruce Grobler saves these for, for breakfast. There you go. Um, right, we've got 39 seconds to score a goal. Can I do it? Answers on a postcard. Oh, for God's sake, 39 seconds to get the ball would be nice. 30 seconds. Right, come on, come on. Let's let's just, just just see. Let's just see their goal. Should we let's just see? Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm so garbage at this. I really am. I'm not. <laughs> How did I not give away a penalty there? <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, this uh, <laughs> have I conceded another penalty? Three penalties. Can Grobler save them all? No, they just can't score any of them. Uh, he would have played for QPR back in the day, 93. 
Trevor Sinclair, would he have played then, or am I going too far back? Anyway, that's been a review of Liverpool for the Commodore 64. Uh, is it better than MicroPro Soccer? I don't think so, uh, but there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching Retro Run Stop. Hit subscribe, hit like, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Cheers.